Welcome to Village in Motion. It is Friday, March 17th, and it is St. Patrick's Day. And this segment of the show, we have Kathleen, Kathleen uh, <coughs> Taylor, who is our social work manager, and she's got a lot to tell us about what's going on in social work. Welcome, Kathleen. Thank you. Glad to have Good you with to us be this here, morning. Yeah. Uh, what's happening in social work? Well, um, as I was sort of saying as we had our break, um, we, we are having a lot of changes in social work right now, especially in, from the Garden Ridge side. Right. So uh, we have had um, one of our longtime, long-term, or one of our longtime rehab social workers mm -hmm. um, has got, moved on <laughs> uh, to, a, to a different uh, position and uh, so we were, we were in the process of hiring a new social worker oh, okay. for that for that unit so um, as a result people that have maybe been from IL and, mm -hmm. and had their rehab stay were actually maybe surprised to see their IL social worker there because what the IL social work team has been doing is um, providing the the discharge planning mm -hmm. for their residents okay. as well so I think you know it stretched us a bit, but I think it was great for the for the uh, IL uh, residents yeah. to see that familiar face right, right. and already have that relationship. Yes. Um, but we do have somebody who's going to be starting on Monday. Her okay. name is Amanda Wolf, oh, okay. and she has good experience coming, having moved from Florida, actually. Oh. Uh, so we'll get her over here and get her introduced to the to the. Uh, viewers okay. once she gets settled in a little bit. Okay. So there's that. And then um, our long-term care social worker, Grace Kim, who's mm. been with us for about two and a half years, had decided she wanted to move back to Atlanta mm. because that's where she came from. Yes. I hope it wasn't the weather that got her. <laughs> um, and uh, so uh, we're in the process of looking for a new social worker for long-term care too. So. We have a little bit of change. And yeah. then, I know it sounds like it, it's nothing we did. Everybody <laughs> loves us and loves Greenspring. But uh, Courtney, Courtney Bennett, who's mm -hmm. our intermissions right. program coordinator, music or art therapist, um, is moving to Virginia Beach, which is where she grew up mm. um, and where her family is. So today's her last day. Wow. So um, we're in the process of hiring um, a program coordinator for so intermissions. So you're down overall, what, four? Uh, three right three? now, yeah. Okay. So, uh, so we're hopeful. We're already we're already uh, in the interviewing process for the intermissions program. Okay. Um, they, she has done such such an amazing job of growing that program. Mm -hmm. The census is um, pretty much at capacity every day now. Wow. So we don't want to lose any momentum. Right. So exactly. we'll definitely get get the right person. Great. So good. anyhow, <laughs> so hiring. There, there are three um, IL social workers plus you, right? Right. And so you guys are, have been covering both IL and AL. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, IL and, and the skilled rehab, um, and uh, and we do we, you know and we also have externals that are coming mm -hmm. and people that come in from outside for their rehab stay that um, you know we are wanting to make a good impression on because you know we actually do have a fair amount of people consider moving into uh, to Greenspring once they've had that rehab right. stay and see the community. So. So we have. It, it's a rich, it's a really a nice way of coming in. I know uh, Jim Up, uh, who's right. with us, and is in uh, GR at the present time. Right, right. But uh, <clears throat> he he came via Garden Ridge when it was Renaissance and uh, moved in and. Yep. You know said it was the greatest thing that ever happened to it. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah. I think that that happens a lot. I, people might be sort of thinking about mm -hmm. it, but, it, you know, if they have like a medical event and they come in and they sort of experience right. um, the care, but also get to see, you know, the services and yes. the community, I think it really opens their eyes a little bit to the value of being in a continuum of care like this. Yeah. So, Very good. Yeah. What kind of things do you, do you and your fellow social workers do? Uh, in IL, what what are the kind of the um, gamut of, or an overview? Yeah, wow, it's so hard to even be able to. I mean, the core of what we do is really social work case management. Okay. So if we have people who are um, 
having kind of ongoing situations. Mm -hmm. They might be related to medical changes. They might relate be related to um, different needs that are changing in terms of services, um, cognitive changes, sometimes memory loss, that sort of thing. That's when the social workers really get involved in helping to um, help people sort through what their options are, work with the residents, but also a lot of times with the families to think about planning ahead. Um, you know, if the person's goal is to age in place and mm -hmm. in, in independent living, then what services can we put in place? Okay. And also just the emotional support right. um, that people, you know, need to be able to talk through how mm -hmm. they're feeling. You know, yes. sometimes aging is a little stressful, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, or medical problems are a little stressful with, for again both the residents and their families right. to be able to to talk them through that. Um, so that's really the core of our practice. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but a lot of times we're maybe involved in sort of more intermittent um, interventions mm -hmm. with residents. They have kind of like a problem in the moment, right. but then we can work with them and over a course of a week or so have that resolved okay. and then we're just kind of available. Um, though that's kind of the good part too is that's the relationship building. Yes, yes. So if we're like available for that kind of one and done problem solving then hopefully we get the residents confidence and they get to they get to know us a little bit. Exactly. Um, so the next time maybe it's a bigger problem um, you know we've already laid the groundwork yeah. so. Interesting. Yeah. One of the reasons I, I asked that is someone had said the other day there was a disruptive uh, individual in the uh, dining room, mm -hmm. and someone had said, "Call social work." <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we do we do get that a lot. <laughs> um, so, in the in the immediate. Uh, moment mm -hmm. probably social work's not the best right. best choice. You know, <laughs> security is probably the right. best choice. Exactly. Um, and I know, I mean, we work with dining services a lot too, so they're they're really good at being able to kind of de-escalate situations. Mm -hmm. And I think they understand that you call security. Right. But over the long term, if it's going to be an ongoing problem, then we definitely get involved and and try to kind of, you know, figure out what's going on with that person and um, and to try to help resolve it in whatever way is, is the best plan. So you do a lot of conflict management? We do, you know, we definitely do. And I think a lot of education sometimes because, um, you know, people people do have times when they get frustrated right. and they may verbalize that frustration. Sure. Sure. So um, so I think it's helping the staff somehow, mm -hmm. sometimes to understand, you know, the best way to approach that person. And sometimes that the person may have um, other kinds of concerns, like maybe they're hard of hearing or, or other situations that create barriers to being able to communicate right. with them. So we try to, to help figure help them figure that out too. Okay. So if there's a disruptive neighbor that someone has, mm -hmm. uh, go through social work? I mean, if it's, you know, a long-term problem? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what, what we normally do is to encourage residents to talk to one another, um, you know, to community living is probably, I think, the hardest part right. of being at Greenspring sometimes. Well, a, lot of people, a lot of people, you know, have gone from mother's house to, to husband's house right. and have now finally moved here. I right. mean, yeah. And so they've never lived in a communal setting or or in an apartment complex type situation. It's, and it's really different. Yes. It's really, I mean, lots of people in proximity. Yes. Um, and so there, those are skills that not everybody comes mm -hmm. with. Right. So it's the idea of, of if you have a, if you have a neighbor and you're not getting along there, um, their uh, sleep awake cycles right. are different than yours, right. so they're up at five o'clock making noise and you want to sleep till eight or nine, then you know what, you might want to just let them know yeah. and and possibly it can work itself out without having to exactly. go to another level. Yeah. But if you've tried a couple times and it hasn't gone well, then definitely talk to the social worker. Well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's imper very pertinent information and uh, very helpful information. Thanks. And uh, good luck on meeting everybody's needs. <laughs> thank you. Thank you <laughs> very much. <laughs> but especially thank you for coming and sharing with us this morning. Thanks. And we look forward to having you.